but this beautiful male red-tailed black cockatoo is uh, just so happens that I run into him today when I'm wearing my design. <laughs> Hello Molly. So no Molly because they thought they thought he was a she. I didn't realise until she he was about two years old. So you can tell a male red-tailed cockatoo by their feathers. So you'll see he's got all red on the back. Whereas a female will have a bit more like my tattoo with the, the yellow and the orange in them. There's uh, three different types of black cockatoos. Um, all of them are endangered to some extent, some more than others. But um, this beauty right here is one of the reasons why I started drawing the animals. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, sure. you um, Yeah, just such gorgeous, gorgeous creatures. Uh, a lot of their a lot of them were starting to go in decline because farmers were shooting them um, because they were desecrating crops and things because they, they can really hack away at trees and things like that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, their beaks can actually crack open gum nuts and things. So, yeah. I'm just so, so lucky to meet this guy today. Yeah. Aren't you gorgeous? So I was driving along and I just saw some uh, group of blackbirds and I knew straight away they were black cockatoos. Yeah, quite often you will see the black cockatoos on the side of the road and um, sometimes, you know, they're attracted by the grain that um, the truck drivers drop on the way along the road. Um, and when they take off, they're a bit of a heavier bird. So, you know, whereas a, a crow or a magpie might be able to fly straight up, a black cockatoo, it'll take them longer to get up off the ground. Um, so it's always really good to be mindful and slow down when you do see them. Um, they'll generally congregate, um, you know, um, bigger groups than the, um, the crows and the maggies. Um, yeah, so uh, enjoy, this is what I saw.